Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at a really simple area between curves question. Now, the formula that you wanna keep in mind is really simple. We define the area of a region bounded between two curves as the integral from A to B, and we integrate the upper function or upper curve minus the lower function or lower curve. Now, right now in the beginning of your Calculus two course, most of the functions and curves are rather simple. Here we have basic parabola, x squared plus four. We have a straight line, negative x plus two, x equals zero and x equals two. Those are also straight lines, equations of vertical lines. So as long as you're on top of your algebra, taking the problem and then sketching the region should be pretty simple. So here's the sketch of the region bounded by those four curves, two of them are gonna be the upper and lower functions that we're looking for. X equals zero and X equals two, those are the vertical lines that bound the region on the side. So from our sketch, we can clearly see the graph of X squared plus four is always on top of that region. And the graph of Y equals negative X plus two is always on the bottom. So here for our formula, we're just gonna use Y upper, that's going to be x squared plus 4. And we're going to use y lower as the bottom curve, negative x plus 2. All right, and we basically have everything you need to set this up. Your two vertical lines, x equals 0 and x equals 2, those are gonna bound it again on the sides, so we're gonna set up our integral to go from zero to two, integrating with respect to x. All right, so the only thing left here is just to plug these two functions into this formula, but because there's a subtraction or minus there, let me give you a tip to clear this up. And the number one tip I can give probably for the entire calculus sequence is to use parentheses. and we're gonna use them around y lower in that formula. So let's go ahead and plug our two functions or curves in and set up the integral. Our integral here goes from zero to two. Those were the vertical lines bounding the region on the side. And it's pretty simple. We take our upper function, x squared plus four, and I'm gonna subtract using a set of parentheses, so minus, and then negative x plus two. And if you always use parentheses, you should be able to easily avoid any sign errors there. So notice that negative there, distribute that, you'll get positive x, but negative two. All right, so let's simplify this inside. Our integral goes from zero to two still. We have x squared plus four. I'm just gonna write this step out, distribute that negative, that'll change it to plus x, but now minus two. All right, and you can simplify this a little bit. Four and negative two, you can combine together and you get a really simple integral. The integral from zero to two of x squared plus x but now plus two. And now we can find an antiderivative very easily integrating term by term, applying the power rule. So if we go ahead and do that, applying the power rule to each term, x squared will integrate to one third x cubed. x squared is gonna to integrate to one half x squared. And then your constant two, the antiderivative for that is the constant two times x. So finally here, plus two x. And since we had a definite integral, we evaluate that using the fundamental theorem of calculus from zero to two. All right, the nice thing about the region here, the lower bound or lower limit is zero. And when you plug X equals zero into that, 
the whole thing evaluates to zero. So the only part that remains is when we plug in x is 2, so it looks like we're going to get 1 third. 2 cubed, that's going to be 8. You can kind of do some of the basic math here. 2 squared, that's going to be 4 divided by 2, that'll be plus 2. And then plug 2 in, you'll get plus 4. And again, for clarity, we are plugging in x equals 0, so we're subtracting when we evaluate this at 0, but that's just going to evaluate to 0. So let's write that for emphasis. We have minus, this was our upper limit we're plugging in 2, and then we have now minus when we plugged in the lower limit, 0. But that's just 0. All right, and from here, you can just simplify with a common denominator. We have 8 thirds plus 6. And if you go through that, combine that over a common denominator of 3, you should get this comes out to 26 thirds. So the area of this region, the area bounded between those four curves, comes out to 26 over 3. All right, again, this one was very simple. It's a good one to get started with on this topic of area between curves. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you're learning a lot, support the channel, like and subscribe.